Hi everybody, I'm Drew. Uh, I just got something amazing in from China. And this is what I believe is actually the flight mode for Generations Turbo Tracks. Uh, Reveal the Shield Turbo Tracks. Sorry, the first time I tried it I said Alt Tracks. Uh, I'm still not used to him being in another line. I'm not used to him being back. But I think that is about as close to the G1 flight mode as this toy gets. And I think it's pretty good. The hands tuck in. You can't really see them. There is something to fill in the gap left by the doors. The wheels are there. The wings are there. The missiles are on the back, just like in G1. And I would say that this is the actual flight mode. Now, let me pull the camera back just a little. From flight mode, it's easiest to... Well, I say that, but I've been playing with it for a few minutes. I can probably take it back into car mode pretty easy. Uh, so there we go. I'll just let you uh, see what I do. I'm not going to step, 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 step by step it because the main reason I went ahead and put a review on out is because I feel like I found a better flight mode. Oh yeah, let's not forget to rotate the thing that the rockets go on back inside. But yes, his hands do clip to the roof. Get that out of the way. Rotate the wheel back around. The backs, it's basically the backs of his arms. They have a tab. It taps to the roof. And they pretty much need to do that. They need to, that's why the double joint's there. The double joint allows you to push it in far enough to get that tab into the arm and there it is it's hard to get now you take the gun off from underneath which is where I store it in flight mode because you can't really get everything in there in that flight mode I showed you with the gun inside there's that you can now fold this you don't really want to I'm sorry you don't really want to fold this down there's a tab on the arm and a tab in the upper arm and you can't really yeah you can see the tab in the in the white part there that does clip together and will make the uh, the back stay down. Um, a lot of the pictures show it popping loose. It can be set up to where it won't do that. You just have to be a little bit careful about the back when you're transforming. If you squeeze it real good, those will clamp in and you'll be fine. These uh, rockets from the back clip in under the doors and you can roll them around so they'll be flush. There's a little peg right in there. Roll around and flush. Now we have we have tracks in his stunning vehicle mode. Clip the front in a little better. He's uh, quite solid. Rolls very well. Uh, nothing rolls real good on this glass cooktop. To be quite honest with you, the things just don't get traction there. But he does roll real good. All the wheels turn real well. He's got the flame Tampa grass. Everybody's complaining about these. I really like them. I think that tracks. I think this car mode looks four or five years old. I think that tracks would have updated uh, his flames to something that matched his car mode. Uh, this Tampa graph is smeared here, and this is darker here. It's brighter. It's in thicker than that is over there. Uh, that's you know one of the joys of pre-release toys is things aren't all perfect. And I'm gonna show you a couple other little things that this one has wrong with it as we get into that, but. It's so what happens when you buy stolen stuff off eBay, just to be honest with you. And I wouldn't have done it. I don't normally do it. I don't, I'm normally so cheap, I barely want to pay prices for things on the, on the shelf. But this is track, so it's different. So to transform, you pull out the, the little guys there. You open the roof, which unpegs the arms. You can go ahead and pull the gun out. You can go ahead and grab that gray piece, get it ready. You'll want to pull the doors out and out of the way, like so. And pull the door out and out of the way, like so. And if you want a really, really in depth, detailed transformation, both Balt Matrix and PO have done transformation reviews. So, I'm just showing him off because I'm so happy to have him. But yeah, uh, on the front you fold down, fold back, fold down, fold back. And there you get his little feet. 
And now we get this really cool kind of automorph thing by pushing up, reaching inside the glass and pushing up. And you'll see his head goes up if I can get it in the right spot and do it. Ooh. This is kind of, mine's kind of tight. And by kind of, ah, there it goes. It pushes up and the arms push out. And I'm sorry, you really didn't get to see that good because, well, he's tight. His joints are real tight, which is real good. If all the little wing tippies out, you can, uh, once the wings are pulled all the way out, if you look at that joint, you can pull them out, and then you'll be able to tilt them up like they need to be. Then the backpack pulls down, and it does snap down there. And then there's this gray piece that snaps in, and it's really tight, but it does snap in above his things. And you can pull his arms down. And his wheels around, and his arm down, and his wheels around, and we have turbo tracks and robot mode. Uh, ball joints on this one are very loose. I expect that this probably won't be as much of a problem in the actual release. I'm sure that they'll work it out, uh, but they may or may not. I don't really know. I guess time will tell, and we will see. But he does stand. He's very stable, despite loose leg joints, which is a good thing. Uh, I'm going to pick up the camera a little bit, because his chest is kind of big and does block out his head just a bit. Now, two things here. He does have the light piping stuff in there. But he's so... It, it's not really in the right spot. So I'm going to loosen up his head in a bit and see if I can't make that better. Uh, rub symbol works really well. I mean, it is green. It's not in focus, but it's it's there. Uh, these things snap on. They're a little bit loose, so I had to lean them back after I snap them on. And they kind of have a mind of their own because the little three millimeter clamps loose. The gun folds out, and it is, I found out the first time, it's kind of hard to peg into his hand, but you kind of have to push it in and then force it into place. Uh, this side on mine is a little bit loose. Uh, if I come up with a way to make those feel a little more rigid, I'll get back to you. But it seems like that's all there is to it. But, there's tracks. My first pre-release. I think I'm like the third review for this guy, so that's not too bad. Instead of being the 300th. And, uh, I guess that's it. Um, I'm really happy. Not only that my favorite character was released. But that it was released in a very nice form. The head is on a ball, but it doesn't turn up very much. But there he is. Uh, Transformers reveal the shield. Turbo tracks.